It's that time again. What do you mean? It's my favourite video. Oh, no. By deductive reasoning, I now <laughs> I, I know now that it's my least favourite type of video. Exactly. Which is the one where you read out an insane review of something and I have mm-hmm. to guess what it is. Exactly. What is it this time? Well, this week we're doing Guess the Bomb, the Ooh. big movie bomb Ooh. by the review. Now, there's been a lot of big movie bombs in the year 2023. And some big successes. True. Barbie. Yep. Oppenheimer. We already did that video. Oh, yeah. And no, we didn't copy Red Letter Media. We stole this concept from BuzzFeed. That's right. That's gone now, I think, that <laughs> website. Or it's being made by AI or something. There's no one to stop us anymore. <laughs> Is an AI going to stop us? Oh, maybe eventually. Maybe, maybe it will. Yeah. yeah. So look, leave a like if you could. Matt. Matt's back, by the way. Hello, Matt. He's editing this video. Yeah. He's going to put a score after everyone because what's going to happen is I'm going to read the review to Nick Mason. He has to guess what it is, but I want everybody... I don't to be that guy. <laughs> and I encourage everybody to play along to see if you can beat one Nick Mason. Let's find mm. out. Let's start off easy with a two-star review. This is rewatched by Murder by TV, who says, All I choose to remember about this movie was watching Kevin Costner drink his own pee. Oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, that's Kevin Costner drinks his own pee on YouTube. That's right. <laughs> But it's also... It was his lockdown project. Yeah, that's right. I think I'll have a drink. John Krasinski did, here's some news or whatever, I guess. Whatever. (laughs) I want to see celebrities drink their own piss. Oh, but that wouldn't be a bomb, would it? No. Uh, that'd, that'd be, be a big hit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the movie Waterworld. That's right. Yeah, okay. So the, oh, this this could span all sorts of eras. That's the earliest one this one goes, okay, right. just to clarify. Okay. Not a trick. There are no tricks here. I bet there's a trick. Like what? Well, Joker made a billion dollars, but I bet you're going to twist it around in your mind. But for people who, this is your first video, he always puts Joker in and he's like, oh, I, did, I said I wasn't going to do Joker, but then I'll do Joker. Joker made like a billion dollars. If you put it in, you're, a, you're lying to yourself, you're lying to your viewers. Don't you think you should maybe... You're a grub? You should give me the benefit of the doubt at least once. I'll never. You never have. This is an opportunity for you to bring a clean slate to me. Oh, fresh start. Okay. That's all all I'm saying. Okay. But if any of these are joke, I'm going to flip this table. I understand. This is from Dirk H. It's a half a star review. Oh, and does the H stand for hater, Dirk? Let's let's find out. Because if it does, Dirk Hate is an incredible name. (laughs) Dirk says, finally watched it. If this is the best Scientology has to offer, I don't think we have anything to fear from them. Ghastly. My goodness, but that is the movie Battlefield Earth. That's right. Oh. I thought there was the potential there for you to go with a lesser known weird Tom Cruise movie. Vanilla Sky. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But no, you nailed that one. Mm. Two for two. How does he do it? Let's step it up a bit. Oh no, I don't like the sound of that. I just want to specify also, there's no repeats here. Okay? okay. Is that a trick? I thought no. you were going to say there's no wrong answers. No, there are. Oh. There's one answer for each of these. Oh, come on, mate. Yeah. Can't we base this on vibes? Nah. Oh. This is from Dan Dresden, who gives this movie one star. Oh, speaking of bombs. You're not wrong. Bombing of Dresden. Thank you. Who (laughs) said... Thank you? (laughs) You're welcome. (laughs) Dan says, awful. No Jared Leto film should ever prosper. Interesting. Jared Mm. Leto. Mm, Well, he was the Joker. He certainly was. Did somebody confuse him for the lead in the movie Joker? That might be a dastardly thing I would do. If you weren't bringing me this new bucket of trust... Oh, oh, we're doing the bucket of trust, are we? That's right. We're doing a bucket of trust. <laughs> All right. Well, in the spirit of doing a big bucket of trust, I won't say it's Joker. I'm going to say, as much as I love this movie, I bet Blade Runner 2049 did not do well. You are 100% correct. Yeah. Wow. This bucket of trust is getting heavier by the second. With all the trust. <laughs> it sounds like an object that's going to weigh us both down and then eventually tip over and spill. No, and All I've... the trust's going to come out and we're both going to be mad, I think. <laughs> This metaphor doesn't hold any water, despite it being a bucket of trust. I hate this. I'm furious, but I'm handing you another bucket of trust. I'm putting another <laughs> cup of trust in the bucket of trust. This one's from Jake Miles, one star, who says, A lot worse than I remember. Sorry to pick holes, but why do animals come from all over the world? The flood is a local flood and not global. Surely the lions, tigers, polar bears, etc. would be safer staying where they were. Okay, so it's a, it's a biblical flood. Correct. It's a Noah thing, mm-hmm. but I bet it's... Is it Evan Almighty? I thought you might have gone with Russell Rock's Noah, but no, it is Evan Almighty. <laughs> okay, right. Famous bomb that yeah. went, let's capitalise on that one scene from the first one and Steve Carell and whatever. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense, but no, mm. horrible, horrible movie and bomb. I oh, it. Russell Rock. <laughs> people don't know that, I Do assume? People, no, people... <laughs> mm. Here's a clip. I want to be modern Brando. You remember that one? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't play the music because of copyright. Yeah, he'll get us. Yeah. Yeah. This one's got one and a half stars. By 24 frames of Nick. If this is you, you might know it. It's not me. Nick says, the ugliest fucking movie I've ever seen. Ooh. A lot of ugly movies, isn't there? (laughs) Yeah. And their definition of ugly. It's not like an ugly person thing. 
Just okay, to clarify. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. It depends on a person's definition of ugly, doesn't how about, it? How about this? Okay. It's special effects related. I'm throwing you a bone. Oh, okay. Is it Indiana Jones? No, it's The Flash. Oh, that is ugly. But you're in the right era. Yeah, right? And they're both ugly. No, I think one's much uglier than the other one. <laughs> it's true. If I had to pick, Mason. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I would describe The Flash as ugly so much as... Slop. Blasphemous? Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But you're not wrong, though. Blasphemous slop. <laughs> That's about this from Daniel Jensen, half a star, who says... That it is dedicated to the memory of Steve Jobs is both embarrassing and appropriate for both entities. Wow. So this is around the passing of Steve Jobs. Okay. Is it related to his Uh, work? Well, I guess in terms of like fantastical possibilities. Oh, Tomorrowland. Great guess, but it's uh, John Carter of Mars. What? (laughs) That's insane. Yeah. I don't think I've seen John Carter of Mars, and I have seen Tomorrowland. So yeah, great I'd re- guess, really. I remember that. Yeah, I you think. would. Yeah. yeah. What are the possibilities you accidentally end up on Mars because of a some sort of Victorian old-timey cannon or something? <laughs> How do you get to Mars? I don't know. All right. I've seen 20 minutes of it, and I saw that bit, but I don't know. All right. Probably touched an amulet or a crystal. I reckon it was probably a weird cannon. It's like a train in a bullet. Oh, okay. And they fire a cannon in a, at Mars or something. <laughs> yeah, probably. Mm. As about this one, one star from Theo Bunn who says, one star BC of Jared Leto. Another one? Yeah. Oh, damn. And there's no repeats. But he's also said one star because of Jared Leto. That's right. Which might mean one star because this person thinks that Jared Leto's performance as the Joker in a previous movie was so good that any subsequent performance I like as this. the Joker... Would be bad, so I'm going to say the movie Joker. It's actually the movie Blade Runner 2049. It was a trick, but not the one you were thinking of. Damn, he's Like, good. you knew something was wrong? Mm. You sensed that. Yeah. And one of the buckets has fallen over. And you literally just said there are no repeats, and you did a repeat. <laughs> that was kind of a hit, though, you know? Because mm. I just lied to your face just then. Well, I've got to respect that, and I'm furious. <laughs> so the fury bucket is filling up, yep. but also the respect for the craft bucket is filling up, <laughs> and the bucket of trust, I don't know what's going on over there. One of them fell you over. You put it behind your back. <laughs> I don't know what it's looking like over there. This one is from Mike Jin, who says, half a star. Okay. I kept thinking how funny it would be if I killed myself in the middle of the showing. So I whispered to my girlfriend, you know what would be funny right now? And she said, if you killed yourself. Wow. Yeah. You know what I like about that is that it sounds like they're they're a couple that's very in tune yeah. with one another. And I think that's lovely. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, when is that from? When is that review from? 2019. 2019. December of. December of 2019. Is it Cats? Yeah, man. God, what are you, a calendar? Yeah, I'm a calendar. They I call did... me Mr. Calendar. They call you Mr. Calendar? They call me Mr. Calendar. All right, Mr. Calendar. How about this one? You and Mac94 gives this one half a star and said, the last scene is the only thing that makes me not want to kill myself. I didn't mean to put the two kill yourself ones together. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a mistake. The last scene is the only thing that makes me not want to kill myself whilst watching this movie and when he walks down the stairs. No, what am I, which bucket am I going to fill up this time around? <laughs> Because the movie Joker does feature a man walking down the stairs. Well, he, it's more of a jaunt and a dance. It is a jaunt and a dance, isn't it? Mm. Okay, well, in Joker, the last scene is the scene where it's in the it's in the hospital, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, you wouldn't know why I'm laughing. Mm. Yeah. But, and again, that movie did make a billion dollars. So if it's Joker... Yeah, the trust would be shattered. The yeah. trust would be shattered. What uh, time period was that from? That's from August of 2023. Might have like a killer post credits, you know? Just like, wow. You're like, wow, it's Jason Momoa in a puddle. You know, something like that. For example, not that. That's the movie The Flash. Is that what you think? No. Because sometimes I do hints. Sometimes you lie. Yeah. You mostly lie, actually. I wouldn't say mostly. I don't remember when he walks down any stairs and that. But then, I mean, you know, that scene at the end where it turns out it's George Clooney, Mm -hmm. I would, I, you know, that would prevent a lot of people from killing themselves, I think. Okay, yeah. Yeah, It's a PSA, basically. He must walk down some stairs at some point. Yeah, Michael Keaton probably does it in the back cave. Yeah. I'm going to say it's not The Flash. Okay. It's The Adventures of Pluto Nash. It's the movie Joker. Interesting. <laughs> a famous hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just hit. to clarify. This one's from Ryan, half a star. You know, if you do this enough, James, yeah. uh, there'll be enough to mount a legal case against you and you will go to prison. <laughs> Did you know that? For fraud. You do enough of these, you go to prison. Worth it, Mason. <laughs> I'll do the time. <laughs> yep. Well, got to add to the respect bucket. He will do the time. Ryan says, half a star, the Wachowskis somehow finessed Hollywood into funding their god-awful solace projects all because of a solid action movie from the 90s. They are the frauds that all frauds should look up to for inspiration. Damn. Yeah. Here's the thing about this. Yeah. You're assuming I'm going to say The Matrix Resurrections, potentially, because that's the most recent but one. But only one Wachowski. Yeah, it's true. But also one. they've done a, a, a string of 
yeah. flops. That's right. God. Okay, well, look, as much as I don't like the movie Speed Racer, mm-hmm. a lot of people do, and I don't think anybody would say that it's soulless, so I'm going to say Jupiter Ascending. It is Jupiter Ascending! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn! Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it was Jupiter Descending, it could have been Stairs, and it could have you know, <laughs> tied in earlier. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's about this one? From Sylvia Stolongo. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I probably said it wrong. One star. This is a bad movie. I wanted it to be Atlantis or Titan AE, and it wasn't. Maybe that's my fault, but it's not good. Okay. Remember so that era? Yeah. There was yeah, three yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. It was Atlantis. Yes. It was Titan AE, and okay. there was another one. Damn. What was it? So it would have been animated mm-hmm. about that era. Yep. Osmosis Jones. Treasure Planet. Damn. Good movie, by the way. Treasure Planet is way fucking better than Atlantis or Titan AE, especially Titan AE. Wow. Get out of here. Okay. This review is from Jack, one star, who says, Rami Malek is Chi-Chi, John Cena is Yoshi, Octavia Spencer is Dab Dab. This is a real movie, folks. Is that the one where Zandaya was Michi? Uh, no, that's a different movie. Okay, give me those names again. Rami Malek is Chi Chi, John Cena is Yoshi, Octavia Spencer is Dab Dab. This is a real movie, folks. I don't think it is a real movie. No, it is. This was made up. It sounds animated, but maybe it's not animated. Somehow. I can give you some other characters. Okay. Emma Thompson plays Polynesia. Tom Holland plays Jip. Craig Robinson plays Kevin. Wow. Michael Sheen plays Dr. Blair Mudfly. Antonio Banderas plays King Rasululi. You've made these up, I feel. Marianne Coltiard plays Tutu. Kamal Nanjiani plays Plimpton. Damn. No, I got I got nothing, man. Fair enough. Doolittle. Oh. The Robert Downey Jr. one. Yeah, right, right. The right. one with the, the dragon with the bad up its bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, we've got a couple left. Okay. Half a star from Lara who says, God, that was bad. And it wasn't even Jared Leto who made this a steaming crock of shit. Yeah. He wasn't the reason it was bad. Interesting. And it's interesting because, like, he's played a famous comic book character. Oh, that's true. Not Morbius. Mm. And there was maybe another movie about that famous comic book character that this person didn't connect to necessarily. Yeah. But they didn't like it. Okay. And it wasn't because Jared Leto played the lead. Oh, is it The Suicide Squad? No, it's Blade Runner 2049. You've done it again, James. Thank you. No repeats, Mr. No Repeats over here. <laughs> the king of no repeats. Interesting. And we've got one more. Is Blade Runner 2049 going to be a new meme? It's going to be a new <laughs> I thing? Don't think so. It's not, not really... interesting enough for that, I don't think. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. Yeah. But it's irritating. Oh, you know? then it's perfect. It's like a piece of sand under your nail. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, Great yeah. movie, though. Really good. I agree, yeah. Spectacular. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I like it a little bit less now for some reason. <laughs> Dog says, half a star, last one. Jared Leto's performance is better. It's called Dark Humor. Liberals. Is it Joker? It's Joker, Mason. Yeah, nice. We're back. We did two Jokers. I had two Joker cards the whole time. Wow, but I got at least one of them right. You did. I got to add to the respect bucket and the trust bucket. Yes. I think technically I have to add to the trust bucket because I knew you were going to break the rules and do Joker, and you did. You trusted in yourself. Yeah, that's true. Great. I invested in myself too. We should pour all these buckets into a brew and drink it. (laughs) Do you think? Hell yeah, brother. See what happens. Yeah. See how much we spew. What will that look like? That's right. Anyways, if you have an idea for any of these videos, we've done a bunch. As mm. mentioned, Barbie versus Oppenheimer. We've done ones for DC, Marvel, Star Wars, various comic book movies, horror movies, video game movies. I don't know what it's else. Because we love movies. I yeah. Love and if you love movies. movies. We love them more. We have a better understanding. <laughs> we get it straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. the nuance also. That's right. Not just the surface level stuff. Yeah. We mm. don't even Google it. We don't even say Minority Report Ending Explained. We don't need to. We don't need to. For if we were saying that, it'd be Minority Report explained, exclamation point. By us. By us. But also, if you're interested in other stuff on this channel, like Caravan It was Gun, milk, right? Yeah, it was milk. They were in milk. They were in milk. The, the mind readers were in milk. They were in mind whatever. reading milk, yeah. Booked on milk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can clip this. This will become that video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But also, we have a service, it's like Patreon, called BigSandwich.co, where videos like this go up there early. Also, car- And better videos. And better videos. Caravan of Garbage, for and example. And worse videos sometimes. Yeah, other things. Whatever yeah, yeah. else is happening. There's also movie commentaries. There's also video game Let's Plays. There's bonus podcasts. All exclusive there. But one thing that is not exclusive that does go up there early, though, is our podcast, The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. That comes out every Monday. But, of course, the day early on BigSandwich.co. Right. But, you know, do what you want. Mm. Thanks, Matt. I hope you're still doing a good edit. Obviously, I haven't seen it yet. Hopefully, this was mostly not a blank screen. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because this is a visual medium. It's true. We should do another Bombs one. I thought this was a bit of fun. Okay. I should do some training for it. I just run up and down stairs being like, R.I.P.D. Uh, stealth. Uh, Terminator Dark Fate. I don't think that went very well. 
It's very poor. <laughs> just hating yourself. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Gemini Man, you remember that one? Yeah. Will Smith played himself and his younger self. I didn't love Man. it. I mean, pretty spectacular tech demo, but didn't yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, thanks, everyone. All right, grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye.